Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge Multiplayer. So as usual we're going to start with the watering. We need to give water to the three greenhouses which will not take long at all. And then we do have a few things to do. We need to build the sawmill which is a huge building but not expensive. It's only about £20,000. Uh, we also have to ideally buy a new tractor in addition to this one. Uh, also a sprayer because as you can see we've got lots of weeds in the field there. And, well, really, then after that, this grass field needs to be cultivated because we need to put a new crop in. Uh, at the moment, it's just sitting here doing nothing. We've taken the grass off it. It's all fermenting. Right, so we just need to get a little bit more for this end greenhouse. Let's just check up on this silage pit. 100%. Okay, I've seen this before. It isn't actually 100%. If we give it time, eventually it will be 100%. I think it's probably when you leave the game, when it's still fermenting, it just jumps to 100. But yeah, it'll probably be a few hours yet. But it shouldn't be too much longer. Uh, the way I'm going to empty it, at least to begin with, is with the loading wagon. I'm going to attempt to sell it that way. But if I can't do it, then we'll have to get a wheel loader or something. Uh, I have successfully cleared some of it with a, with a loading wagon before. But... I've never successfully completely cleared the pit. It can't get right up to the edges. Maybe I'll be lucky, we'll see. But that'll be coming later. Right, so that is load number two. As soon as we have extra money, as I said before, we're gonna be putting farm tracks in. We'll build a farmyard and everything. But for now, it's just a case of getting things going. We need to get this field going. I think I'm going to try and buy a bigger cultivator as well. Bigger tractor, bigger cultivator. Then we can clear this field really quickly. Right, okay. So this will finish off this greenhouse. And they're still bringing in lots of money per hour. So whilst it is unloading, I'll go into construction and we'll have a look at the sawmill, which is probably right at the end somewhere. Let's just see here. There it is. It is only £20,000. Obviously the biggest disadvantage with it is it takes up a lot of space. It's a huge building, but you do make a lot more from it than just selling wood. I don't really know which way I should put this. Maybe that way? It's so big actually, it's so <laughs> difficult to see where we're putting it. Um, maybe up against the back of this field. But then it doesn't want to build it there, does it? And that's just a wait. I suppose we could expand that field behind it. How come it's letting me put it over there? That's weird. Pretty sure it's over our boundary. Okay, have I made a mess? You would have thought that would be out of bounds, but apparently not. Okay, so that's all the greenhouses done. We still have 108,000. I think really the priority now is to get a sprayer and we will have a look at the new tractors, but sprayer first of all and herbicide. So let's just find sprayers, there they are. It's got a 12 meter working width. That's got a 24 meter working width. I think, yeah, although that is good, We've probably already outgrown it, so we should probably just go straight in with this one here. I'm just a bit concerned about the wheels and the weight of the tractor. Let me go into medium tractors. I think there was something really big here. 45,000 for that. Ooh, front PTO. But can you have narrow, <laughs> narrow wheels on this? I doubt it somehow. Yeah, it's quite big. This is more of our cultivation tractor. Um, we can reconfigure the other tractor though, I think, to have a front linkage, so we could put a weight on the front, so that should be all right. I will buy this. We're gonna buy it with the biggest engine, which is 240. Hitch configuration, I'm actually really happy with just standard. And metal, we'll go with metal. So 47, 500 for that, very nice. Very, very high horsepower as well for the money. And yeah, if we can just get this one put into the workshop, we can hopefully 
get a front linkage put onto that. I think that was an option. If it wasn't, then this is going to be fun. Look at that. What a buy. Okay, let's just pop this one over here. I say the workshop, actually, we're just, <laughs> we're just putting it here. Yeah, I suppose it's got a few tools, but it's not like a full-on workshop. Anyway, yeah, I guess also as we're here, we might as well repair it, customise it, make sure we don't lose the horsepower. Can we have just narrow on these? If we don't have narrow, we're going to actually destroy the crop. But if there is no option, then there's not much I can do, which means we'll be leaving tram lines. Yeah, there's no narrow. Interesting, but there is a front hitch, which is what I was looking for. So that's good. So yeah, we're just going to have to destroy a small amount of the crop, but at least we can see where we've been. And that's another reason why having the really big working with is worth it. Buy that. It's only 5,000 for this actually, so we should probably get this instead of a weight. A booster tank. Pallets. Herbicide. I have no idea how much we need, so we'll just go with that. Put the booster tank on first. And then the rest of it. But we will be leaving a line. I don't really see it as a problem though. It seems quite well balanced anyway. So it only leaves 500 litres for the back one, but it all combines. There we go. Good. It's only a small area we're doing. Eventually it'll be a big area. So, let's just kill those weeds. And then we can do the cultivating with the cultivator I haven't yet purchased. We'll take the one back. Hopefully we do have the money left over. If we don't, then there's probably something else we can sell. Make sure we're not destroying more than we need to. I can follow the same line for fertilizing. Uh, how well fertilized is this? This might already be pretty well fertilized. Yeah, except for that strip. Okay, well, not the neatest line ever, I must say, but... Um, actually, is it all going to... Yeah, I think it will all grow weeds eventually, so I should probably just spray this. I think there are some small weeds in there. Having tram lines isn't a bad thing, though. It can be really handy. Except for when it does that. I hate it when it does that. <laughs> It just bulldozes the the entire lot under the tractor. That's fine when it does that, but yeah, when it just deletes everything, that's just so hideous. So when we do another tractor change, we have to look out for a tractor that can have narrow tyres. This will be the next tractor to go. It looks alright, I don't mind the tramline look, it's just, as I said, when it does that, when it just destroys everything, that's when it's silly. I don't know why it does that, but well, I guess you're crossing the path of where the, I suppose the plants are, are they, are they grown in a grid? Is that how the map works? I don't know. If you cross into the next plant's grid, it will just destroy everything. Who knows? But anyway, it is a little bit frustrating when it does that. So there's my mammoth sawmill, which we'll be using soon. But for now, yeah, we've just got to get this area sorted. We've got to get that area sorted. I think if we can kill the weeds in this other field as well, that would be great. I'm sure that's over my boundary. As long as it works all right, that's the only concern. Um, yes, this is already infested. Yeah, this, this was drilled to my boundary, so that is definitely out of bounds. It didn't mind. I've got no mod on which allows me to build outside of my outside of my boundary, so 
it, that's fair, I guess. The game accepted it. Just as long as it works. Now this crop has not grown enough yet. So it's not going to destroy it. Good or bad, I don't know. It will destroy it though, because we're going to be fertilising it too. Unless of course I fertilise it today before it grows anymore. Which would make sense. But that is looking good. Yeah, I suppose I should do. I should go and buy a IBC of liquid fertiliser. Then we can just do this straight away. there we have it. That is everything fertilised, so that is looking so much better. Um, obviously there's no point in doing these bits over here, uh, that's just what it is. I think that's where weeds were, originally. But we've done this piece, and we've done this piece up here. Eventually that'll all be dark blue. So yeah, we can focus now on this middle piece, and then we'll have three fields in total. Um, but yeah, cultivator, that's the next thing to look at. Always so many things to buy. <laughs> well, luckily, uh, the money will be coming in from the greenhouses. I think we'll probably just keep the fertilizer in the sprayer for now. Just part the sprayer over here. Because really, we should be using the big tractor now for the cultivation. Okay. Look at the size of this. So let's just first of all see what we've got. We do have the other one to sell, um, but what can we buy to replace it? Maybe not even a cultivator, maybe a disc harrow. Let's just see what we've got in disc harrows. Okay, maybe not a disc harrow. <laughs> they are quite expensive. So, 24, we can almost afford that. That's a five meter working width. Four meters, really, I don't think we want to have less than five. What do we have at the end of here? Yep, so we are going to be targeting this lemkin here. That would be a great help. Uh, it's also well within our horsepower requirements. So we need 24,500 pounds. What I'll do is I'll go and get the other one. We'll bring it back, we'll sell it, and then we'll see how close we are. This has got very sensitive steering. It's the slightest turn of the wheel and it's completely off in the other direction. Uh, it's going to take a bit of getting used to. Now, where did I leave the cultivator? Probably at the top. That, oh, crikey, I don't know if I can get used to this or not. It's very sensitive. I think, with the exception of the cultivator, we, we do need to keep most of what we have here. So we may just have to wait for the greenhouses to bring in the next bit of money. It really shouldn't be long. Um, I seem to have got stuck on a tree. There we go. Well, if it's going to be a little while, we could actually just use this as it is. Look at that. 13,000 for that. Sadly, we don't need it anymore. We have a combine, but that would have been such a good buy. As is that, really. Yeah, we just need a bit more money first. Right. So, machines that we own. Cultivators. Oh, now that is promising. It's quite expensive. So we will go and sell it. We'll hopefully go and upgrade it. And this is a speedy tractor. We can do 32 miles per hour. Making it our fastest tractor. And I think when we've done all this, when we've got this field cultivated and drilled, the drilling will be fast. 
we can then start to really go full on with the logging. Get that sawmill underway, producing planks and all that sort of stuff. I understand there's a lot of money in plank production. Right, 25,000, perfect. So we do have the money. That's good. I did not want to be sitting around waiting for a cultivator. Although it's not a major increase in width, it will still make all the difference in the world. And we will not have a horsepower problem. We have more than enough power. Which is unusual. Usually I'm buying cultivators and stuff which are way too big for our tractors. At least having this tractor means we can upgrade again in the future. Now eventually there will be a track just here. The only reason I'm not building the track right now is because I can't afford it. It's not free. So I'll leave a grass track instead up the centre. Hopefully that's wide enough. If it isn't, then we can just uh, slightly encroach into the field when we do the dirt track. It's a shame a dirt track isn't free. Actually, I know there's a mod. I do use a mod on single player. But it's a shame that just dirt isn't free in the base game. It's just dirt. Anyway, let's get this area cultivated, which is now significantly smaller thanks to that gigantic sawmill. But not to worry. This top section is always going to be a menace, I think. Uh, we'll probably eventually cut across there where the uh, loading wagon is. Probably next time we drill this field. For now, we'll just follow the area that we've cut. And when we get sheep, I think we'll have the next plot. We'll put them on the next plot. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're jumping around. Well, look at this progress. Bit of a funny shape, but it's because we're driving around <laughs> all of the different objects. We will be uh, making it much neater at the top there when we clear the trees. And actually, when we do clear those trees, we can probably expand this field up there. Because uh, I'll probably plant some new trees somewhere else. In a more commercial way, so they're easier to fell and log up. But yeah, we're almost done here with the cultivator. The new cultivator has been great. Uh, it would have been nice if it had even been bigger than this, but yeah, one step at a time. But loving the tractor. Brilliant tractor. Clearly, this is now a cultivation tractor and drilling tractor, but it's not sort of a multi-purpose sort of tractor. Not our everyday tractor, I should say. That's the uh, International, which will have to be upgraded at some point. But already, money is coming back into the bank account. And as soon as that silage is ready, we can make quite a bit from that too. I don't know why, but I don't think I've ever seen that colour hot air balloon before. Blue and white and grey. It's always the orangey red one I see. And now it's nowhere to be seen. Oh, look at that. Bunker silo is done fermenting. That's great.
great news. Good news, everyone. I missed the opportunity. I should have said that first. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it means we can start to sell that. But it's very important we get this field drilled. I might be able to get a worker to do it. Which would be even better. Or even if a worker can do the majority of it. That'd be good too. But hopefully you are happy with my progress now. I know there was a lot of moaning people in the first few episodes. Um, yeah, those first few episodes were tough. I didn't really know how to start. Because it really was start with nothing. Except for money. So yeah, what do you do? Well, how do you start? That's why it seemed like I was struggling. Because I was struggling. But now I think I'm on my feet. Or indeed on my wheels. We have many wheels, and we are progressing nicely. Soon, very soon, we'll be able to buy the new plot. I think that's going to be my next plot over there, because then we can just naturally spread down, and then actually the sawmill will be on our own land again. But it, it would make sense to go that way. I don't think going that way is going to be any, in any way beneficial to us. It's further from the store as well. But anyway, yes, there we go. That is the cultivation, in this field at least, done. And because I left it a day, or a month, for the uh, the grass to start regrowing, it's given us an application of fertiliser, which I'm very happy about. Because I think if you if you do it immediately, if you, if you cultivate it directly after mowing, I think you don't get the 50% application, which is obviously no good. Okay, so I think what I'll do now is get the seed. Do we have enough seed? I don't know. Fully mounted, that. It's pretty heavy. But we're okay. Oh, you've got to unfold it to take it off. Fine. There we go. No, I picked it up again. Yeah, so we should be able to fly really with this. It just depends how much seed we have. And fertilizer. If we can get 100% fertilizer, that would be great. Right. So I think we'll use up what we've got. If we drill now in March, from May, June, July. Yeah, it should still be the right time for soybeans. Call me Mr. Boring, but we've got to do what's going to make the money. So, really, soybeans is where we want to be. I don't know how work is going to do with this, though. It's just. It's not a good field for a worker. At all. <laughs> it's a really bad field for a worker. And it's only doing nine. I thought it would go faster. I guess nine isn't bad. Yes, it's a terrible field for a worker. If I go around the headland a few times, that would probably make it okay. So I will do, and then we'll refill. And then we'll try a worker. clear things up a bit. So there's my seed. And yeah, we're still going to be leaving a pallet behind. But there is my fertiliser. I think that one on the right there is chainsaws. I remember checking it last time. Coming through seed bag. Oh no, <laughs> I've destroyed the seed bag. Right. So that should be enough for that field. We'll be back for you later, seed bag. It's looking different already, this place. Uh, now, I don't know if we should start at the top or the bottom. It shouldn't really matter. If it's going to work, it will work from either end. If it's not, then it won't work from either end. <laughs> All right, okay. So, I'll just go from here. Let's just see what it does. Meanwhile, I can work on removing the sprayer. 
to put the loading wagon on to see also how well it's going to actually pick this up. Oh yeah, that's something I remember. You have to use a bucket to fold that back. Which I don't have. I don't think. So that's going to be fun. Oh, that means we can only take it from the front. Hmm. You see, there were people saying, I'll oh, just use the loading wagon. <laughs> Yeah, but we've got to be able to open the pit. I might have to buy a bucket then, that's just another expense. We have the grapple, and we have the pallet fork, but not a bucket. On the plus side, that tractor is turned around no problem at all. Let's just try it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't open with just the loading wagon. Nope, it's just going to stop there. We've only opened the front piece. So, yeah, we have to buy a bucket. If we can at least get the tractor with the front loader to tow this to the store, that'll be helpful. It should be able to pull it. On the plus side, again, the loading wagon is working. Ah, unless you can just open it again from here. Nope. Nope. So you've got to get the uh, the bucket to do it. As suspected. So there we go. You learn something new every day. Leave the pallet fork here. certainly heavy for it, but it is pulling it. And if we do have a bucket, then we can clean up any bits that it can't get. So it should be fine without a wheel loader at this stage, but I do want to buy the uh, lever wheel loader for logging. It's going to be so good, picking up big heavy logs. Uh, I don't want to repeat of that nightmare episode with this tractor. That was painful. Right, okay, so before we uh, sell that, let's just go on to here. Get the price. Uh, no, not that. It's front loader tools. I think just the standard bucket. Um, yeah, you could have MX, I guess, but it's only. It's not going to be a primary bucket. This we're not going to keep using. I think. Yeah, well, let's just let's just go with the other one. Twelve forty. Six hundred. Oh, it's cheaper though. But then it is smaller as well. Yeah, okay. Let's just go with this. I'll pick that up in a second. Right, how much are we going to get for this? I need to check and see when the best time is for selling silage because if it's soon or now, obviously we need to get it all done. But if it's a while from now, then we might want to hold on to it. Okay. Seven thousand pounds. Right, so let's check the price after we have <laughs> sold it. <laughs> Five four two. Ah, so yeah, we're actually just, we, we want to be getting it sold as soon as possible. Like now and tomorrow. The sooner the better. But let's go and open up the other side. Is my worker still going? I should probably check up on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, well it is, but it's being weird. I think I confused it. Well, we can deal with the silage next time. At the beginning of the episode, it should still be worth a similar amount to what it is now. Let's just get that to come home. And I will take over from this nightmare. When it starts to make a mess, it actually makes it more difficult because you're running around just getting bits from all over the place.
Well, I think we're there. Obviously, we've run out of fertilizer, that's fine. Next time we can spray this area with liquid fertilizer. But yeah, by the next episode, that will have germinated. We'll have a load of soybeans growing. We'll have to herbicide spray as well. But this is a great place to finish. What a lot of progress today. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.